I'm going to show you how to calibrate your TV if you have a different uh, display so you can get this result so you can get any SDR game of course Cyberpunk supports HDR but I'm playing it right now on SDR and it is looking like this which is absolutely amazing so this is going to work for every single game and I'm gonna show you how you can calibrate your display if you have a different display because you cannot copy my settings so I'm going to show you how I figured out the values so what I'm talking about here is you turn on HDR on Windows you max out the slider you force limited on your TV so you have on the GPU full range you force limited on your TV but now you need to lower the black level okay and I'm going to show you how I figured out the values I'm not gonna give you the full explanation of why I am doing this you can go back and watch my video so you understand why but it doesn't matter why <laughs> it doesn't matter why look at this this is cyberpunk at night look at this this is just jaw dropping all the colors are popping with such a ferociousness <laughs> like Jensen likes to say this is just amazing this looks so good that I would I would still recommend you on this game to set up the sliders on the game on the HDR sliders so what you have to do is force limited on the TV so turn on HDR on the game force limited on the TV and then adjust the in-game uh, sliders and I can show you that on a different video but on this video I want to make sure that if you have a different TV you still know how to get the values right I'm gonna show you how I did it so for that I'm going to turn off the lights because I need to show you a near black test pattern okay and it's very dark it's less than one nit so we need to I need to turn off the lights so I can show you that so let me let me do that you can see the game better also at night <laughs> okay so let me go back to Windows let me get my mouse you see all the near black detail is visible there's no crush it's absolutely perfect man amazing colors so let's let's get to it so we come here to the Nvidia control panel we need to have full full range so what that means that means don't do anything with the signal that's what it means full range don't do anything and then on the TV we need to force limited okay and we're gonna use this near black test pattern so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset my black level values and I'm going to go back to full this is auto I'm gonna go back to uh, full range and I'm going to reset the black level values and I'm going to open the near black test pattern so I can illustrate and show you how to do this how to get these values right this fine-tune dark areas minus 11 the screen brightness 49 in case you have a different TV you have an LGC one just copy my settings they should work the same okay so this is what we have here we have HDR on Windows we have the HDR slider max out okay this is too bright this is brighter than it should be so when you go to your TV you do this so this video is SDR okay this is an SDR video so you go to your TV and you're going to force the range to limit it so what that is doing is basically we are telling the TV the signal is coming oh, the video ended let me open it again so what we what is happening is we are telling the TV the signal that is coming is limited so we need to expand it so we can see it in a full range that's what's happening and you see that the entire pattern is visible so what this demonstrates is that all SDR content in Windows is 
limited within that HDR container. So if you open a game, if you don't do this, if you just leave your TV on auto, you have full range on the NVIDIA control panel and you open a game, it's going to look washed out big time. It's going to look horrendous. You have to do this. So now, on top of that, most games, do not say all of them, most games on SDR, they are limited in that, that inside that full range HDR. SDR, okay? So we need to limit one more time, okay? So we hit limited, and we would need to lower the black level to limit the lower end. Of course, that's not going to clip more the highlights, but we don't want to do that because when we limit here, uh, what happens is that the clipping point changes from 800, so from 797 uh, max CLL, that clipping point changes down to 530. And that Windows 11 HDR uh, brightness slider, it is calling for 498. So it makes the games max CLL 498. So that is perfect. We don't want to touch that again. So we're just going to do this to calibrate. We are going to find out the black level value of your TV that is going to give you perfect visibility on this near black test pattern. So basically we're going to lower this until we get barely, so until this pattern is barely visible and it's exactly the same visibility as forcing limited. Okay. So now that we know that that number, what we're going to do is we're going to do this and we're going to hit a limit. We're going to limit and now we can see what we are crushing. We can see that we can count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's what we are uh, crushing. Okay? So now, if you want to use fine tuned dark areas, if your TV has a more, um, you know, more precise um, adjustment for the lower end of the grayscale, like we like we have here on this LG OLEDs, then uh, we would rather use that. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's very easy. That's how you know the value. That's all I did. So then I just adjusted this, this to 49 because I wanted to lower the overall brightness a little bit. And then I came here to fine tune dark areas and I adjusted this to minus 11 on my case. And then I have the same visibility. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the rest is crushed, okay? So all of this is crushed by double limiting. All of this is crushed. And that's how you do it. You are limiting two times the black level and one time only the highlights. Why one time the highlights only? Because you want to get the maximum uh, peak brightness of your display. Well, in this case, my display can do 800 nits. So if your display is different, maybe if, maybe if your display has a less... Um, is capable of 600 maybe you want to lower you want to limit uh, and do double limiting maybe you do want to do that in case that your TV doesn't have the option to limit the black level maybe you can access the service menu or maybe let's say you have one of these OLED TVs but your GPU is not able to uh, to do 4k 120 full range and it has to be on limited range, then what you can do is limit it on the GPU, limit it on the TV. So what that is going to do, limit it on the GPU is going to compress the image and limit it on the TV is going to decompress the image. So you're going to end up with a full range image that now you need to limit. <laughs> so the way to limit that would be on the service menu. It's a setting that is called sub BC on this LG C1. Maybe it has a different name on a different TV, of course. But and if you have an LG C1, you can access the service menu using the color control app. And you go to EC adjustment, sub BC. And if you are interested in knowing the values, 
it would be sub BC 107 for the brightness, so the brightness lowers the Bragg level, and for the contrast 144. The default values are 128 on all, all LG uh, TVs. So from that default 128, you have to lower the brightness to, to 107 and increase the contrast to 144. That's, a, that's for my specific LG C1. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. And I'm just going to show you the game uh, until... Let me make sure I have the, the settings right. Just gonna show you the game until the recording stops because I run out of out of bat, out of uh, memory. <laughs> I have the the phone full. I just wanna show you the game, how it looks. Show you the performance numbers. I'm getting 100 frames per second. <laughs> 107 frames per second, bro. So I get this performance by using NVIDIA image scaling. So I'm using NVIDIA image scaling, 77% uh, of 4K. So that looks sharp. So that has a sharpness uh, slider. That NVIDIA image scaling has a sharpness slider. Let me show you the settings real quick. So we have um, high settings. So this is the resolution, 3264 by 1836. And the graphics, uh, DLSS balance, no sharpness, everything high, ray tracing off. That's what I'm using. And I'm getting 104 frames. Uh, this is a, an R RTX 3080 12 gigabytes with a 5800X3D. And you see that at night, we are not crushing any blacks. We can look at the, this dark area. No crushing. Everything is visible. Everything looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just amazing at night look at these colors everything pops the bright objects of course they are gonna look blown out on the recording but this is just insane looking <laughs> so yeah let me know if you have any questions I'm, I'm just gonna uh, drive around until the recording stops and let me know if you have any questions You can see how it looks. The night is is almost over. Let's see if we if we can if we can see how it looks during the day. Once the night is over, during the day it looks so colorful. I love the colors of this game. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the game because it doesn't feel the driving is doesn't feel great. To be honest, I love GTA V driving. But this one, eh, not very good. Not very good, man. It could be a lot better. But yeah, this is gonna make a bigger difference than uh, DLSS uh, 3.0 or anything or in a new GPU. Getting a, a better HDR and an image that is not washed out and the colors popping, that's more important than better performance. More, much more important you can have 300 frames per second but if it looks washed out it doesn't matter <laughs> so yeah this is so so important of course use the native hdr on this game um the nate you need to limit and adjust the sliders so the native hdr is also limited so you have to force limit it on the tv and adjust the in-game sliders that's what you have to do. Okay, just gonna keep driving here. See if we can if we can see the sun in a moment. I wanted to show you how it looks at night, so you see that there's no crushing, everything is visible, and the colors are beautiful. But during the day it's even more impressive. During the day it's super impressive. The colors are super vibrant. And for games that don't have, um, you know, don't you don't have to double limit, just limit one time. So if the SDR game is full range, you don't have to do double limiting. Yeah, I'm going to end the, the video here.